guys it's me again jessica and i'm your host on this channel just signatures in today's tutorial i bring to you a victorian corset now what is a victorian corset i'll put pictures up for you to see but then let me give you a little bit of explanation it's simply a straight corset you know all of those corsets where and mostly victorian corsets always have um basque that is it's always not straight it has like a triangle or a curve up to the waistline so now a victorian corset is a straight corset like i said earlier but it's a corset that does not have cups like it's you don't need to put extra cups you don't need to pad it up for the cup to stand if you do it right then the cup will sit properly and another thing you need to know about Victorian corset, for you to be able to draft this pattern, you need to be able to draft a Natalie Brace basic bodice pattern. Now, a Natalie Brace basic bodice pattern is the first pattern that you, you get taught in fashion school. Now, if you do not know how to make a Natalie Brace uh pattern a basic bodice pattern by natalie bray let me know in the comment section and i'll try to do a video about it i'll also try to leave um a link to her book to a book that can guide you to out on how to make this particular basic bodies and that is the number one prerequisite to making a victorian corset now the other thing is you need to be able to um calculate like you don't need to know a lot of mathematics but you need to be able to know where you want to subtract where you want to add and all of that trust me it's really easy forget all of this that i'm saying but it's really easy for you to do you just have to follow everything that i'm doing step by step and if you don't understand my voice over look at what i'm doing and trust me you would understand it because it is really easy to follow that is if you follow it step by step and you need to have a calculator by your side for you to make this pattern you also need like a, a rough paper a rough sheet or a book an exercise book so that you'll be able to do some calculations and some calculating so you will not do the rough work on your pattern and end up having a rough pattern at the end of it so now this um pattern after doing it the next video i'm going to put up should be the sewing tutorial this one is just the pattern because the pattern is really a lot uh but it is simple don't get me wrong but it is simple to follow now after doing it you can see that i went ahead and i tested the pattern and it worked it came out really nice so if you want to see how i made the victorian corset the sewing tutorial stay on this channel turn up your notification bell so that when i post that video you'll be one of the first people to get notified and go check it out now if you have not subscribed to my channel i don't know what you're waiting for after all this while but please 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 do subscribe to my channel for all those who are subscribed i want to say a very big thank you to you for all my returning subscribers god bless you all to the new ones i say god bless you and also to everyone i say a happy new year because i believe that this year 2022 will be a prosperous year for all of us and then i pray that this new year none of us will lose our loved ones none of us will lose our lives in the name of jesus okay guys without further ado let's get into this um pattern tutorial guys the first thing that we'll be doing is to get our round waist measurements now round so guys, my round waist measurement is 37. I don't know if you can see this. It's 37. Now, this is a round waist measurement. Then we need to snatch the waist in. You can decide to snatch it in as much as 3 inches, 4 inches, 2 inches. 
depends on what you want and how um tight you want your waist to look like but what i want to do here is i want to snatch the waist as much as i can and still feel comfortable i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say like i want the waist to look smaller than it already is but i also want it to make me feel comfortable not wearing the clothes and um i can't breathe or i can't eat and stuff like that so what i'll be doing here is i'll be snatching the waist by two inches so now that two inches from my round waist measurement i'll be removing that two inches 37 minus two inches will give us 35 inches now this 35 inches we can now decide to say uh okay not decide it's a standard because we're working on a half scale measurement we divide 35 by two we divide 35 by two which is 35 divided by two which will give us 17.5 to give us 17.5 now this 17.5 is what we want to achieve at the end of the day on both the front and the back panel so what we'll do first is to check out the measurement we have here already so for the back I have 10.5 so from this 10.5 I'll continue with the front measurement and all together I have 22.25 22.25 now this 22.25 if we minus 17 22.25 minus 17.5 will give us 4.75 so now what we want to take away from this measurement is 4.75 so whatever you do make sure you arrive at that 4.75 so now what i'll do is that 4.75 i'll have to share it between the front and the back so first of all let's use our pencil because we'll have different lines and we'll end up cleaning some at the end of the day i want to round it up to a whole number which is five to make it easy which means i'll be snatching my waist by um 2.25 inches i don't know if you're getting what i'm saying now that 2.25 that i'm adding i'm still taking it out so just not to confuse a lot of people, I'm take I'm snatching my waist. What the measurement I'm taking out is five inches in total. So now that five inches, first of all, let's um, take in one inch from the front part and uh, from the back. From the back let's mark out one inch and then we'll mark out two inches from the front see what we have left this is 9.5 then 19 inches okay so now we've already taken out one inch from the back and then two inches from the front two inches one inch from the front so now what we are left with is three inches to share because one inch plus two inch is three so we'll be left with um, two inches to share so let's do one inch here let's do one inch here so one inch one inch that's a uh, two inches so we'll be left with 
three inches to share now from that three inches that we want to share you decide how many you want on the back and how many on the front now because my front part if you measure your front part like front to front is smaller than your back so i'll take i'll take in more measurements on the front part on the front part i'll be doing two inches while on the back part i'll be doing one inch so now we want to start our measurement afresh um this line from here you measure it i have 10.75 this 10.75 i'll be dividing it by three because i want three style lines if you want two star lines you divide it by two if you want four style lines you divide it by four but you know the more the star lines the more complicated your corset will get so let's just do three star lines for this so 10.75 divided by three 10.75 divided by 3 we have 3.5 so we take 3.5 here take 3.5 here and obviously the remaining one will be 3.5 so I just want the lines to be visible so now after taking now after getting these lines the next thing we'll do is we'll share these two inches on these star lines that's where we'll be able to snatch our waist from so you decide how you want to share it you could decide to do it half one half or you just decide how you want it so what i want here is on this second line okay let's do it here on this second line i'll be taking 0 0.75 okay let's take one inch here because here is fuller for me so i'll be taking one inch here so which means that one inch i'll be taking um, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 5 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 on this line i'll be taking 0 0.75 now we want to divide 0 0.75 by 2 0 0.35 so We're having our 0 0.35 here.
fuck her in the best. Yeah. 